This is a map that I produced in QGIS, a georeferenced PDF that is a grid of my sample plots for forest inventory. So you're looking at an iPhone on the right and an iPad on the left. And I'm going to zoom in on a sample plot, my intended destination. And when I have the crosshair centered over the sample plot where I want to go, I'm going to use this pin icon near the lower left. And that is what Avenza calls a place mark, which is also you know, a waypoint if you're thinking about other GPS apps. So we're going to add a place mark. You can change the name of the place mark if you wish. Um, I just use these as temporary plots that I will then uh, delete once I get to that destination. So I'm just going to leave that default name of place mark one. I will say submit. Now you can see I actually have a pin that I placed on this map. So in order to navigate, I'm going to touch the little eye icon for information. And in the upper right, you'll see this navigation icon, which is a, 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 an arrow surrounding that pin. Now, when I press that button, we go into navigation mode. You can swipe this panel down out of the way. And then in the far lower right, you will touch this arrow icon twice. And that will put it into both centering over you, if it can, and it will also orient your phone or your iPad, so as you navigate, so right now I'm turning my, iP my iPhone and my iPad, and I would simply follow directly towards that, towards that mark. Now when I get to my destination, when you get within 10 meters, it will automatically uh, leave navigation mode, and then I will just delete this place mark and add the next one. So in order to delete the place mark, you touch the eye again, and you'll see a trash can in the lower left. I will delete, yes, delete this feature, yes. I will delete, I will delete. And then I would just repeat. I would move the, cur the crosshairs over to my next destination, add a place mark, and carry on. If you have any questions, you can go to forestmetrics.com where we have more resources about Avenza and also QGIS.